Hi everybody, back again, now on part five, I think. Um, so I'm going to continue going through my art projects from last year. And the first things I want to show you um, were not in this box, because I've just brought them down from my art room. And these are, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see them or not, these are jar fairies. So these are just ordinary jars that I've taken... Um, they've got fantasy film at the back and then fantasy fibres at the base and this one you won't be able to see it. it's got beads suspended as well and then the lids are decorated with fibres and there's a little butterfly and um, a rub on there as well so the little image inside of the fairy girl um, is just a collage image that's been cut out and suspended in there and there's a little bit of stickles on the wings as well. So that's one. Um, this is another one that I've done exactly the same way. This was the first one I did and it didn't come out that well. Because um, what you need to do, the fantasy film at the back, in order to be able to see the fantasy film, um, you need to add paint behind it. And you can see the paint on this one. And for this first one, I kind of took the paint a little bit too far. Um, so it needed to have been more at the back. But you can see inside there. And this one's got three little roses at the bottom as well. And the rub on says Miracle on that one. And again, it's top decorated. Just with some fabric and lace, beads, bead pearls. And the final one... This is my favourite one. This is one I did um, around Christmas time. So this is like a little snow angel. Um, I think I called it Frost Fairy actually. So there's little snowflake brads in there and the white fancy film, the Mother of Pearl fancy fibre at the back. Um, and then there's down here, I don't know whether you can see, that looks a little bit like ice coming down. It's just glitter. And there's the, the painted back. This one was much better. And then I added some trims over the top. And I printed a little ticket on there as well. Which was stamped background and glitters. So that was my favourite one. But it's just another idea of something you can do to alter a jar. Okay, back to the box then. Um, this is a postcard created with a um, technique called the bandana technique although it, I've seen it called the stays on technique as well it's on I think it's the Stampington website um, no Stampers Anonymous website it is it's featured on there on the techniques and basically you take stays on inks or really bright coloured dye inks um, and lay them across in patches or bands which I've done in this one and then you stamp your images and you go over areas, highlight areas with a white pen. So that's that technique. And this one I took black as well around the outside um, just to highlight it. Uh, this is a little art doll made from polymer clay and beads and German scrap. So the little face there was made with black clay and so was this part. And that was... I used a mould for that and then I just cut that freehand and then stamped into it and it's perfect pearls over the top and then little charms for the legs there and some wings and that's a, a metal charm there another ATC just a quick one the challenge this was um, for Think Monday Think ATC which is obviously a Monday challenge and all the links, by the way, are on my blog. If you go and check out my blog, um, I've got links to all the challenges that I take part in on there. So a few people have been asking for them. So you can take a look at that. This one, um, I was asked to be guest designer on one of the challenge blogs. And this was one of the pieces um, that I did for that. And I can't remember exactly what I did, but it will be on my blog. I know there's loads of different colour sprays and paints. And it's got a ton of um, gloss lacquer over the top of it to give it that really um, glossy finish there and there's 
paper doily at the bottom of there as well. So I was quite pleased with that one. Another one for um, the ATC challenge. The theme was jewels. So I took this little stamp here and in her crown I put some little rhinestone gems and then put the jewel in the crown. So I was quite pleased with that and it, it was watercoloured that one. This is a 4x4 piece and this uses the same technique I used on the, the mermaids where I got the, the cheesecloth and suspended shells in it. I think the theme was probably either fish or the sea or something like that. Um, colour wash sprays in the background and then some gold spray of that as well in collage images. And I, the cheesecloth obviously coloured that too with the same sprays. This one here was a postcard for an Alice in Wonderland um, themed challenge and I don't have any Alice in Wonderland stamps I keep looking at them and I will get some eventually um, so I had to use an internet image for that but the background was um, stamped with two different stamps there and then collage image applied and then a little clock charm um, added on there as well which was coloured with alcohol ink so that's that one and it was outlined with black as well uh, this one is a 4x4 piece I can't remember the challenge for this one it must have been music or dance or something like that because of all the, the musical notes in the background there very light colours used there I think it was probably white um, paint and some pink probably chalk ink over that and little metal corners and a metal embellishment this one, I really like this one, this one was done on um, canvas paper so it's quite bendy and I used distress inks in the background there's the Tim Holtz pen nibs stamped in the background twice and then some German scrap pen nibs which were gold and I grunged them up with acrylic paints to make them look rusty and then I dyed the um, ribbon there and put some staples in it again to make it look a little bit older I think the theme was letters for that one this is a 4x4 four four piece again pen nibs again um, and there's a little bit of other German scrap on there it was a similar technique to that one that I did in fact it was exactly the same technique but just a different style um, so lots of colour wash sprays um, and the lack of finish over it as well different collage images this one was for the um, house challenge site where you have to create art that's a, in a, the shape of a house um, this one it was distress inks in the background and then around the outside I um, put embossing powders, ultra thick embossing powders these are the opals embossing powders um, which are really beautiful colours I can't remember exactly which colours these were but it will be on my blog um, and then I stamped into those while they were still hot and then added some Prima and the little sentiment there so quite like the effect of that one um, this one postcard I think it was possibly clowns the theme um, distress inks in the background I think this is my favourite colour combination it's the dusty concord um, tattered, no faded jeans and peeled paint um, and they were just swiped across and then obviously it had to be masked and I really like that stamp as well so that's that one and probably time just for one more 4x4 four four piece um, again distress inks in the background number stamps bits of torn paper and another collage image so that's enough for now because I'm about to run out of time yet again please leave a comment and I will do another part and eventually get through the rest of the artwork in this box okay thanks for watching